What's going on guys, we're listening to 3 Minutes back here with another video, and today we're going to get straight to the point, we're going to keep the subject clear, brief, and illustrated, so let's get started. So, we're going to be talking about dystonia, akathisia, uh, kinesia, and tardive dyskinesia. Now this is just a little uh, summary of the entire video, we're going to be talking about acute dystonia, and how it affects the muscles, and how it works in less than 4 hours, akathisia, and how it is more of a Russell type disease and um it it can occur in the first four days and akinesia pill rolling which is uh, also known as hustle and how it can work in four weeks now there are different visual representations that i highly recommend you guys use um i think the best type of memorization is that which is related to pictures or images or illustrations because that really uh sets you apart from a uh, just basic memorization so what is acute dystonia? Now, acute dystonia uh, affects the muscles, and it generally occurs within the first four hours. Now, uh, what is uh, oculogyric crisis? Uh, so this is the name of the dystonic reaction to certain drugs characterized by prolonged involuntary upward deviation of the eyes. Um, and when it comes to oculogyric, this actually refers to the bilateral elevation of the visual gaze. Now, when it comes to uh, torticollis, the treatment is benzotropine. Now, uh, when it comes to akathisia, so this is a uh, Russell, which is um, generally lasts four days, and Russell just refers to the fact that it uh, there's generally a feeling of as if you have ants in your pants or something around along those lines, but um, the TX is going to be uh, benzodiazepines or beta blockers. That is when you're switching to new medications. Now, akathisia is a movement disorder uh, characterized by a feeling of inner restlessness or inability to stay still. The patient, uh, the patient may fidget, rock back and forward. So again, uh, referring to that ants in your pants feeling, um, which may lead to that inner restlessness or inability to stay still. Now, when it comes to akinesia, this is actually uh, an inability to initiate voluntary movement. So hustle, um, again, this refers to a more um, uh, uh, m more difficulty when it comes to any movement such as rigidness, rigidness in your movement, or stiffness in your movement type of thing. Now, this usually occurs in the first four weeks. Now, again, a pill rolling. Well, this is um, what this is actually the action of when uh, uh, people in the bank when they're counting money. Uh, the action is called pill rolling. So if you can count, uh, if you can picture that movement of the fingers, uh, like is uh, shown in this uh, diagram, there's something along those lines. And uh, bra uh, bradykinesia, is, again, that's uh, the slowness of movement. So it is going to show a more rigid effect. And um, there is a decreased facial oppression, as you can see here. So the facial expression is going to be uh, much uh, less vibrant. Now, Cogwheel is rigidy, so again, like I said, movements are going to be very stiff and robotic. What's differential is a uh, catatonic rigidity, uh, which leads to withdrawal. Now, tardive dyskinesia. Now, this describes the involuntary, sudden, jerky, or slow twisting movement of the face body, uh, caused as an unwanted side effect, obviously, uh, of any antipsychotic drug or metoclopramide. Now. This may include grimacing, sticking out the tongue, or smacking the lips. So any of these three, uh, maybe uh, one of the side effects is that your tongue comes out. It's all again, it's involuntary, but that is just one of the side effects of uh, one of the antipsychotic drugs. Now, um, smacking of the lips. There's something along these lines of this diagram. So if you want to just remember, just remember to remember the diagrams, um, remember the pictures. If you ever need um, any reminders. So yeah, here again, here is a little uh, summary of the video, and yeah, so just use, just remember to use uh, the visual representations to remember. Um, it, it's, it's very key, and it will help you a lot in the long run when you're trying to memorize or remember. Maybe you're studying for a test, or you have a homework assignment you're trying to understand. So yeah, definitely. So yeah, I uh, just want to let you guys know about Butcher Gardens in Eden of the Pacific. You can find it in Victoria, BC, Canada. 
Uh, yeah, it's a very amazing garden. It really shows you the greenery and the nature around um, that beautiful province. So definitely go check out their book on Amazon. And yeah, that about sums up this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Uh, leave some comments. Let us know if we did anything wrong. Uh, if you have any ideas for new videos, if there's anything we can improve on. Yeah, definitely let us know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much and enjoy the rest of your day.